Hey friends, I thought we would start the new year, 2023. No idea how we got here. You know, I was actually thinking about it. My husband and I were chatting. I was born in 1974. That's starting to feel like a really long time ago. But let's start off this brand new year just doing a simple highlighting and contouring of our face with our Saint 3D foundation. I've been using the e.l.f. primer to just prime my face a little bit. I really like it. I have pretty like combination to oily skin and I feel like the e.l.f. primer does a really good job of just mattifying my skin and prepping it and getting it ready for makeup. You don't have to use primer with this makeup. It really is like a completely preferential thing, but for years I didn't use a primer and lately I have been using this at my daughter's recommendation and I'm really liking it. So that's how I start. I just let this sit on my skin for like 15 seconds and then I'm gonna do my 3D foundation. This is my 3D foundation with Saint Beauty. You can find tons of information at my website, which is just beautybybeth.org. I go in with my color correction first, which is Aspen Contour. Yes, you heard it correctly. It is a contour, but what I like about this is that it cuts the pink and the redness that I have like through this area and my chin really beautifully. The coolness of this contour it does a great job of just correcting this color. And I wanna do this before I apply my makeup because if I put my makeup just directly on the redness, it's going to break up, separate, not really wear, wear well over the course of the day. And so it makes a really big difference to do a little bit of color correcting. And I'm using the fluffy end of my shape brush, the small end, and barely getting any product on the brush and then just kind of like swirling it on. So you don't, we're not talking about putting on a layer of foundation here. No, nothing like that. Just keeping it really simple and light. And then I layer as I feel like I need to. At this point, you can either take your detail brush. This is my favorite contour brush. You can go into contour and contour at this point, um, which actually I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Or you can go in with the other end of the brush and you can go right into your highlight foundation and apply a thin layer of that all over the face. But today, I'm gonna just go right into my contour. I am using Henna Contour, and I like to contour just right on my cheekbones right here, and then on the top of my forehead, and then on my jaw. If you want, you can take a little bit of the contour and contour your nose. I love this brush for contour. It really makes it just about as easy as you can possibly get a little bit under my lip. I'm gonna flip my brush over and just also keep in mind, I'm choosing to use this shape brush because I like a light coverage. If you wanted a little bit of a heavier coverage, you could use our 3D brush. This would give you medium. My favorite brush for full coverage is our powder brush, or I like my buff brush, which is right here for full coverage. So the way that it works with our makeup is it really depends on what brush you use for what coverage you're wanting. So then I just go in lightly and tap my all over shade right where I want it to go around my contour, just kind of blending it, tapping it, and then I'll blend afterwards like this. You don't wanna blend away the contour by blending here in the middle. What I like to do is just go around the edges and blur out those lines and it blends your contour perfectly. Do my eyebrows, a little bit of eyeliner and my mascara off camera and I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna add my brightening highlight around my eyes and my favorite brush to do this with is either the smudge brush, I really love this brush, or I have really fallen in love with the blur brush. Is this called a blur brush? I always forget the name of it. I'll put the information down below. This is one of our Demi brushes. It kind of looks like the eyeshadow brush, but the, the end is just a little bit different. This is the smudge brush and see how the end is just like this great, like little dome end. And it's very similar to this one. This one is a little bit smaller, but I really like these brushes for getting right into the small part around the eye. 
my personal favorite. Today I'm just going to use my 3D foundation. Sometimes I will use Demi. This is our Demi line. I will use Demi around my eyes today. We're just going to keep it all 3D foundation and I'm going to go right in with my brightening shade. So my brightening shade is Sunlit and I just need a little tiny touch. You're going to be amazed at how much brightness this offers around the eyes. So I just tap in the inner corner. I mean, look at that. And then I have like this blue purple area right here. And so when I apply my brightening shade, I always want to make sure that I'm getting right into this area right there. And it just kind of gives a really pretty brightness. And then I will kind of bring it up into the the eye socket area but see how like without doing any blending or anything it just makes it look really pretty and then same on this side right in this inner corner i don't know if it picks up on camera but i have like this blue kind of purpley pocket right here and then also right here so i just apply my sunlit and your shade might be a little bit different so that's why a color match is important you can find my color match form right on my website it's just beautybybeth.org and you can go to the color match form tab and find it that way um, or you can DM me email me whatever and I'll send it right to you so my email is just beautybybethtessier at gmail.com I like to put a little bit of highlight right down my nose and right across my forehead as well I can either clean off that brush or I can switch brushes at this time and I can just blend so I'm just gonna tap this highlight shade and it's really important to just use really light stippling and go in and blend so that you can't see anything and i think it just gives the perfect amount of color correction and brightness around the eyes without making it too intense and make it look like you know remember back in the day when we used to tan oh so bad for us but we a lot of us did it and you would put the tanning glasses on and then you would have like these the opposite of raccoon eyes you would have like the white around your eyes and then your skin would be like tanned yeah we don't want that we don't want that so let's go into our lip and cheek i have madrid right here in my palette which i think is really pretty it adds this really pretty coral flush to the face i'm just going to bring it right across my nose i'm going to take my setting spray and spray my perfector sponge just get it damp a little bit right on the end and then kind of squeeze off the excess i am going to go around my face and make sure i'm just removing the excess product that i don't want to settle into any fine lines and wrinkles specifically around my eyes. I've really been enjoying our suede lip liner, so I'm gonna just put a little bit. I don't like to like completely line my lips. I have really tiny lips. What I like to do is almost use this like a contour. So I'm gonna just tap in and contour under my lip, just a little bit, just to give a little bit of definition and shape. I'm gonna go into boardwalk. Boardwalk is one of my favorites. Thank you so much for joining me for the first video of the new year. Happy 2023 to everyone. 2022 can kiss my butt. Wasn't a great year. I'm glad to see her go. I have so much excitement and hope and encouragement in my soul for 2023. We have a lot of really exciting things happening um, in our family this year. And yeah, it's going to be a good one is gonna be a good one. I'd love to hear from you. If you would like a color match, I'm gonna put details in the description of this video. Any information that you would like to find can be found on my website, which again is just beautybybeth.org. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time.